Hey, it's Aaron Mellon, Realtor with Premier Property Group. I help people achieve financial security and freedom through real estate. Now, today's question of the day is what month do homes sell the fastest? Now, I pulled up some stats on that that I'm gonna share with you. Uh, the chart goes back further than that, but I just went back to the first five years just to kind of give you a taste of how these things change. There's lots of reasons why things are the way they are, and I'll try and see if I can explain them for you. <laughs> In the last five years, the fastest times, the lowest days on market for 2019 was July, for 2020 was October, for 2021 was April, for 2022 was May, and then for 2023 was July. So you have July on there twice, so summer, okay? That would make sense. You have a lot of competition for the home. Then you have May, okay? Kind of summer, kind of right after the late spring, things are warming up. People are thinking about putting their home on the market. People are thinking about moving during the summer so they're not disrupting kids during the school year. April's kind of similar to that, maybe a little bit earlier. Then you have one in October. Now, <laughs> what happened there? Halloween's in October, so people were just really excited, and so they bought homes quick so they could be in the home for in time for, for Halloween. And then again, July. So there's no real pattern here when is the best time to sell based on days on market. In reality, the best time to sell is what works for you. Now, in order to improve your odds of selling quickly, you need an agent who is going to market your home to the masses, get buyers to compete for that home that's gonna raise the price and lower the time on market. And I just have some stats to share with you on that. So this chart here is the average showings per listing. This is showing you the difference between my average listing, how many showings it gets, and the average listing for Lewis County. Now in general, each listing gets about 2.6 showings per home, and my properties are achieving about double that, about five and a half. This is average showings per listing, so I was just talking about that. Now what you'll see on that one is I have a higher average showings before the home goes pending. Typically you would think that's a bad thing, right? But you can see sometimes I spike to 30 showings, sometimes I peak to over 60 showings. So this is what mass marketing does is it brings in a ton of buyers, you get a ton of showings, and to the point where you're getting multiple offers and sellers are saying, stop, stop, I can't handle it <laughs> anymore. Now, it's not as crazy anymore just because the buyer pool is a lot smaller, but this is just showing you what marketing can do for your home when it's done properly. So let's get to some more recent data. This is the month of October, the average days on market. And you can see here that the average real estate agent has their home on the market 55 days before it sells. And you can see mine is just under half of that at 28 days on the market. And again, here is the October showings per listing. So the county averaged the average agent uh, 2.9 and I'm sitting there at 5.4. So I get just about double the amount of showings. And so that is why my homes sell twice as fast. So rather than focusing on a month, what you should be doing is putting that effort into finding quality agent who excels in marketing and getting your home seen by the masses. Like I said, shortening the amount of time you're on the market and achieving a higher price. That's where I think you should focus your time. Again, my name is Aaron Millam with Premier Property Group. And remember, never settle for less than extraordinary.